top Biden officials offering few details after meeting President Obrador in Mexico yesterday for help curbing the crushing tide of migrants heading north. DHS Secretary Mayorkas saying, quote, we had a very productive meeting with President Obrador and members of his cabinet today in Mexico City. Auden Cabello is an independent journalist covering the border crisis firsthand. He joins us live from Mexico where he lives. Auden, your thoughts on this meeting. Did anything come from it? Uh, good morning, Gur. Well, uh, <clears throat> this was a private meeting, um, and uh, there was no uh, press conference afterwards, uh, no statements other than um, going to X and issuing statements there uh, by Secretary Mayorkas and, and Secretary uh, Blinken. And what I've deducted from, from this meeting is, is going back and listening to Lopez Obrador from his morning um, discourse, uh, saying that, um, if anything, uh, the U.S. was was um, wanting for Mexico to implement um, more more blockades, slow down the influx of migrants into the U.S. Um, more than being this about immigration, I think it was more about Ukraine and um, elections. Uh, <clears throat> as you know, uh, Republicans have, say, have stated that if the Biden administration does not do anything at the border, they will not uh, give funding for Ukraine. Right. And I think that was the uh, objective of Secretary Blinken. Yeah. Uh, for Secretary Mayorkas, for three years, he's been pushing legal pathways uh, into the U.S. I think CBP-1 has been a failure. Uh, and I think he's pushing for yeah. Mexico to hold migrants in Mexico and, and, not, and allow them to use this legal pathway instead of them crossing illegally into the U.S. Auden, I just, it strikes me because you live in Mexico, you see the Mexican press. And like you, I've spent a lot of time, I've made at least half a dozen trips to Tapachula, the southernmost city where the migrants cross from Guatemala. Mexico is not stopping the flow there. They come there first before they come across our border. I've gone to the Darien Gap in the jungle between Panama and Colombia. They're not stopping it there either. The pipeline is full. But yet after this meeting, a senior Biden administration official told reporters that Mexico's offic officials shared their plan, which created a, quote, pretty significant reduction in border crossings. Is that accurate? Well, Mexico did implement um, some some actions. Uh, for example, in Matamoros, they cleared the uh, camp using bulldozers. Uh, Matamoros is across from Brownsville. In Piedras Negras, the uh, governor, of, the new governor of Coahuila had met with uh, Lopez Obrador two weeks ago. And there in Piedras Negras, they started flights um, back to southern Mexico. Uh, so there are some actions where they're clearing migrants from northern Mexico. They're trying to hold them in southern Mexico. But as, as we all have seen uh, the footage, um, that's not holding them back. They'll, they'll uh, take two caravans and, and walk to central Mexico. And that's where they're taking the, uh, the trains, something that we've documented. And, it, and it's a major black eye for both administrations. Yeah, um, you've documented that's it. Why You've done such a great job. I mean, but for you and a few others, we wouldn't even know. And as you look at that caravan coming here, yesterday it was in Huitzla, today it's in Esquintla. We know the path. They're going to get on the train. They're going to end up in a matter of days. And the numbers, by the way, are about to break the record. This month is going to break the record for the most ever on record, the highest month ever. It's going to happen in a matter of hours, Auden. But my question to you is, does Mexico have the resources and the political will to effectively stop this crisis? Well, one thing they do is, is they, they have the upper hand. They know that the U.S. is desperate. And I think um, Mexico is, is asking for more funding. And also they have elections coming up next year. So I think AMLO um, negotiated um, where Mexico will receive more funding. And um, after this, we'll see exactly what, what was discussed, what comes after this, this meeting. But I think um, Mexico did, does have the upper hand in, in, in this case, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see uh, what actions are taken. But as, as far yep. as the migrant flow and the pipeline, they're all coming. Auden, last question. I've only got about 30 seconds, but I want to ask you, the administration is going to tell us they're doing everything they can and that the border is secure. Is that true, or are they lying to us? Well, they've been lying to us for the past three years, and, and I think this is where we come into play. We'll be very uh, critical what we report. Uh, every time I go to the border and report, 
uh, essentially is completely opposite of what the administration is saying. So we're gearing up and getting ready uh, to continue documenting the reality here on the ground and the border and expose the administration. They've been lying to us for three years, and I think they'll continue this final year, continue lying. Auden Cabello, independent journalist in Mexico, risking his life to tell this story. The cartels are watching you as much as they're watching anybody else. Auden, thank you for speaking out and coming on. My pleasure. Thank you.